It's Brian uh, here. We've gone to, got Jared and I got Dell. He's our fleet manager and uh, takes care of all of our uh, recycle equipment. Rob is, uh, does a lot of the maintenance on it, plus works our knockdown department. But we're just going to uh, take y'all through a real quick video about all the uh, things we're doing in our warehouse about our recycle programs. Because y'all are going to be amazed at how much our little uh, company is doing to uh, impact the environment for the better. But we're going to uh, be taking you on a tour. Jared's going to show you a lot of what we're doing, but uh, hope y'all enjoy it. We appreciate all y'all bidding as always. So first off, y'all uh, just want to show you our horizontal baler that we got because uh, besides uh, trying to be a good at recycling and uh, doing our best for the environment and the community, we also know that if we don't run an efficient organization, that our customers are not willing to pay for our waste. They don't they don't want to pay extra because we run an inefficient company. So we had a choice to buy a vertical baler, which is a lot more labor involved, and we decided to spend the money and buy this horizontal baler. So when we just uh, have to pay one person to be putting the cardboard onto the uh, conveyor belt, and, it, and from then on, there's no more labor involved in this process because this cardboard, you'll see it go up the uh, belt, goes down into the compactor, it compacts it, and then it pushes it out. So you see these bells of cardboard, uh, it actually even ties the uh, wire around it. So all we have to do is get a forklift and we put it on the trailer and the trailer takes it to the recycle place. So uh, Dale's gonna just give you a little bit of uh, how much cardboard we are recycling. Well, actually, since we started, Brian, uh, we have done in 14 months 306 tons of cardboard. And that's just cardboard. And the interesting thing about the machine is that machine will actually, when it brings that bell out, it's over a ton per bell. It's actually 2,200 pounds average per bell when it comes out. So this American-made baler we bought, it uh, compacts the cardboard so much more dense than a lot of the uh, cheaper imported balers. So what that means is when we put a bell on the trailer, we're getting a lot more bells of cardboard on the trailer, so it's a lot less trips for a tractor trailer to be on the road hauling the cardboard back Correct. and forth. So that's another uh, way we're uh, benefiting the environment, saving the trips. And one of the other things is the company that we sell the cardboard to, they're an end user. So instead of shipping it out to get somewhere else processed, they actually take the cardboard and remanufacture it right here locally. So we're trying to uh, do our best to keep the trucks off the road and we're doing it in uh, keeping it local. Correct. Next off, we're gonna show you this really cool, it's called a foam densifier machine. So. A lot of the furniture that we get in has got tons of styrofoam packed all around it to prevent it from getting damaged. And so we got, so we were, before we bought this densifier, we were taking and throwing all of this styrofoam into the dumpster. And we were having to make many, many trips to the dump to put all this in the landfill. Correct. So we bought this uh, foam densifier and now you, they're gonna, uh, show you where they feed the foam in and then it, it comes out in a really condensed, heavy uh, ball of foam and then we uh, send it, a recycle company picks it up. Correct. And the interesting thing is the only densifier, it's a 90 to one ratio. It comes down and shrinks that styrofoam down to something. So 90% shrinkage. So there again, uh, we're selling it, so we're getting a little bit of revenue back in the company to cover the expense. Plus, we're keeping all of it out of the landfills. Correct. Yep. So, this other vertical baler, we actually uh, come do bales of clear plastic. A Correct. lot of our furniture gets shipped and mattresses comes in plastic. So, we're taking all of our plastic bags we get in, we're putting them in this uh, vertical baler and compressing it into bales. And we're also, uh, at the moment, you're not getting a lot of money for the plastic selling it, but at least we're keeping all of our plastic bags out of the landfill. As Correct, well. yes sir. And right now we've done actually 3.75 tons of clear plastic in the 14 months. So plastic, uh, that's a lot of plastic not in the landfill. Correct. But uh, the, the, the funnest machine we bought is this auger. So, <laughs> And Jared's gonna take you out a minute and show you this 40-yard container that we pay a 
trash truck to come and get this 40-yard container, take it to the dump, so to the landfill. So this auger, we literally, you can watch them, they're going to be throwing uh, items in, showing you that we can throw sofas in it that are need to go to the landfill, damaged items, and it mulches it up. And so we were sending two to three tons to the landfill in one of these 40-yard containers, three, two to three, four trips a week to the landfill. Now we're putting about nine tons in one of these 40-yard containers because it's uh, grinding it all up to mulch. So now we save two to three trips a week to the landfill. So that's a ton of money we're saving our company to help us keep it lower our overhead. Plus when it gets to the landfill, it's, it's already mulched up, so we're saving tons of space in the landfill. Correct. And the one thing about the, I call it the beast, because it is just an awesome piece of equipment. The 60 to 1 ratio, it will actually crush the stuff down 60% when we send it out. And that's what's saving us the money, because we're not sending it into the landfill three or four times a week. And also the fact we're doing our part on the environment. Uh, it's amazing when you see this machine run. We love this machine, and the best part about all the equipment we bought is every bit of it's made in America. This is made up in Ohio, Ohio. from an American-made company. Right. So uh, we were glad to be able to support American uh, workers and uh, American companies. But yes, sir. also, we give away a ton of free water at all of our locations. If you've been in our stores, so we do recycle uh, tons of plastic bottles Correct. as well. And office paper, we do the same with office paper. All the office paper goes to the same recycles. So anyway, just wanted to take a few minutes, y'all. Appreciate y'all taking the uh, time to uh, walk through, go through our uh, recycle. And uh, again, we do appreciate y'all and thank y'all for everything. Thank you.